Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at um, my second that I've picked up um, the of the hashtag Phil Fix doll series. This one says take over the makeover with at Preppy Posh. So I guess that's her screen name. <laughs> um, just to let you guys know, um, I do really like these dolls. I didn't really want to pay the nineteen ninety nine asking price for them. Not that I thought that it was worth it. It was just there's so many dolls in my life that I really want. <sighs> well, anyhow, what I was trying to get at is that they have come down in in um, price. They're not on sale, but it seems that their original their original was like I think it was like nineteen ninety nine or eighteen ninety nine at Walmart, and now it's uh, like twelve ninety nine or twelve forty nine. So. I feel like they're worth to me. They're they're really beautiful dolls uh, when they all get made up, and uh, they're worth it for that. But um, you brush and style their hair. Uh, they have a magic mask that pulls off the. Uh, it, I, I, it's a really unique type of doll. I think uh, it is a gimmicky. It's gimmicky as heck, but um, it's it you know it's it's a, it's a kind of worth it gimmick. Um, it does say on the back here, oh my gosh, my A-plus makeover took an L. I'm not perfectly preppy. I'm perfectly frightful. Wah. Take over my makeover. I need help. Um, okay. So over here, I guess, are the three different looks you can end up with. Day, sparkle, or evening. Um, that's kind of a bummer. I, I, I guess I didn't look at that on my last one. But uh, that you'd have is that if you were a completionist when it came to the outfits, you'd have to buy her three times and hope that you get all three of them. Um, but um, I'm I uh, I really like the evening look, so I'm hoping to get that one. It seems that the sparkle look is just her day look with but sparkly. Is the sparkly one like the hardest one to get or something? I don't really know. But I like that she has glasses. I love me a girl that has glasses, a doll that has got glasses. So. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. So let's just go ahead and get her open. And we'll take a look at what she has for accessories and um, what might be lurking in her hair. <laughs> be right back, guys. Inside the bottom of her box, there's like a blob of like nail polish or makeup or something. And then there's this little flat pocket here. This pulls out of it. I think this might be our instruction guide. And this is going to show us how to fix her up. I like our butterfly clip. It's cute. And of course they do have, they all come with stands. Are they the same color stands? Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at my other girl. Find out. Um, but yeah. And then we have this brush here. That really works well. And some elastics. And her dress is hiding underneath this robe here. I, well, I've said it before. I really wish they did real robes. That would be so much cooler. But we'll take it as it is, you know. Okay, so I'm having an issue trying to pull her out with this robe on. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the reveal right now of the surprise outfit, I think. Here we go. Okay, so we got the, uh, I guess the common, I guess this is the common outfit. Uh, the daytime outfit. That's okay, because we don't have it. <laughs> so, let's get this plastic off of her. Now that we have her out of her box, let's go ahead and search her hair for other things. Hers are shoes, I see. I see them in here. I can pull them out. I don't know how. We have a pearlescent dark pink shoe with um, white paint detail around the buckles. Here's the other shoe. Here's her glasses. It looks like an, uh, the open, it looks like a, they're like a transparent pink. I like the design of them. They're gonna look really cute on her. Check that out, guys. All right. What else we got in there? Are these earrings? Yep, we have butterfly earrings, butterfly danglers. All caught up in her hair too. 
Do anything else? I think that's it. So just shoes, her glasses, and her, her earrings. Should we do her hair first or reveal her face? I don't know. Looks like she's got brown eyes. We got some smearing going on all over here with the makeup. Let's uh, let's go ahead and put her mask on here. Take a look at her face. So this just clicks on her ears like that. And click it on her other ear. Okay, like that. And then apparently we just magically remove it. And voila, her face is done. Oh gosh, you guys, she's got a really beautiful face. I really love her. Oh, she's got a little bit of, of a beauty mark right down here below her lips. Um, her lips are glossy pink and they're outlined with a little bit of red. We got some uh, cheek blushing going on here. Oh, I like her makeup a lot. And we have a uh, gold eyeshadow. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and work on her hair, I guess. So here she is. She definitely doesn't look like the... Uh, the image on the picture, I don't know the picture that shows her hair straightened. So I, I guess I'd have to do some washing. Um, I just brushed it out a little bit and then I pinned up the curl with the butterfly clip, pinned it up, like did like an updo. I think she looks cute like that, honestly. So I might leave it like that or I might actually try and go for the look that, uh, they show on the, um, package at some point, but this is what she looks like for now. Um. I'll say it again, I said it in the other girl that I reviewed. Their outfits are a little bit too plain for me. I don't like that that's a printed on bow right there. I feel like they focused more on the gimmick for the uh, cost ratio price on this. I would have liked to see a little bit more of a flashier outfit, but I guess maybe uh, the night one is a little bit more detailed and this is just the common one that you can get. Either way, I'm pretty pleased with her for the $12 tag that she priced like that she had. Um, I love the inset eyes. I love that they gave that their I love the eyelashes, how they they don't have like real eyelashes, but uh the way it's sculpted, the face is sculpted, the eyelashes have a little bit of a bump, so it does have a dimension to it, which is nice. And I do like that they have the eyes that kind of follow you around. <laughs> uh the articulation on these girls are pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, her hair moves up and down and back and forth. She has articulation on her shoulders her elbows, and her wrists. Uh, she has articulation at the knees. They go back pretty far. She doesn't have... Uh, and then uh, she has a swivel on the at the waist and the thighs. So uh, you can... And she is wearing a molded-on pair of pink underwear, in case anyone was wondering. Uh, that's all we have for you guys today. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.